Hello everyone and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Skyward Sword. We've been over this, Mom! It's Skyward Sword, not Twilight Princess! <laughs> Calm down, Pippin. Don't get so mad. How could you not- how could I not be mad? It's obvious you've been giving someone rupees to clean the house. Ooh. I gave you that money so we could buy some bread! If you keep spending money like this, I won't have any money to go to the Night Academy. I didn't take that job patrolling just so you could live a life of luxury. You've got to stop doing this! Oh, uh, hey there, Link. What could you want at this hour? You didn't hear any of that, did you? There's no way you heard that, right? Heard what? <laughs> nothing. I it's nothing. Anyway, I I've got to get back out of patrol. You take care of yourself when you're out walking the streets. Ah, uh, that hits. Awkward. That hits so hard. Mm -hmm. Honestly, like it's one of those kinds of things. I'm I'm actually a little shocked it's in this game. Because mm -hmm. it's just a very real situation. Yeah. And it just makes... I already like Pippet as a character, but I'm always like, man, buddy, that is... That's rough. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you have to put up with this kind of garbage. Well, I mean, it, it just tells you so much about Pippet. Like, mm -hmm. it tells you that, like, he's, he's working for the family to survive. Mm-hmm. Like... He's a model student because he feels like he has to be, you know, like it, it tells you so much about Pippa in just like one little scene and just what he's dealing with. <sighs> hey, Fledge. Hey, Fledge. Bye, Fledge. Why, hello. Oh, hey, look. A windmill. We can blow this. Hey! No, what? No, come on! <laughs> shield bash? Shield bash! No, I put the controller down. That doesn't mean shield bash, you ding dong game. But if we turn this, it hey. now glows because it's facing the this, tower. This tower. We, we should go check out the tower. Yeah, I guess we've not really looked at it at all. But this is the Celestial Tower, or whatever the heck it's called. Link. Tower of Light. Some... Some such name. Alright. Nothing down here. Up, up, up we go. Hmm. This is a place you can jump off to call your bird if you need to. Oh, here. Let sound the goddess's song beneath the light's radiance. Unto her chosen hero shall fall a piercing ray of guidance. I was going to say, from the top of the tower, you should have looked for the second windmill thing. But Found it. Look, there it is. Wow. <laughs> Talk to Fledge. Hey, Link, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Two whirling sails, and that's a tough one. The wind really is strong here in Skyloft, so there's a lot of things that look like sails. Thanks. <laughs> but yeah, the other windmill is right up here. Hello, windmill. Uh, hey! What's up, Link? There's no blowy bit. Pinwheel. Pinwheel. So, you're curious about the windmill, eh? Oh, pretty smart design, I gotta say. See, you can turn the windmill so that it can always catch the wind no matter which way it's blowing. But, well, there used to, used to be this little propeller attached to the windmill so that you could turn it. That thing flew off ages ago. Must have dropped down off the edge, down beneath the clouds. Well. 
The windmill's been uselessly sitting here ever since. Fee! <laughs> I highly suggest you retrieve the windmill propeller from the land below to reorient the windmill. Yeah, no duh. You want to know if I could fix the windmill if you brought back the propeller? Well, if I had the propeller, I could probably rig something together to get it back on there, sure. But how would you even go about looking for the propeller in the first place? Once something falls through the clouds, it's gone for good. Hang on. Come to think of it, Gondo at the scrap shop told me that someone in his family once used a flying robot to haul junk back from beneath the clouds. But we're talking about a tale that's been passed down over a lot of years, so I wouldn't put much stock in it. Gondo, you say, huh? Flying robot, you say? Over the years, you say? Put much stock in it, you say? <laughs> I'm intrigued. Count me in. Gondo! No, we haven't checked with Beetle while we've been up here either. Yeah, we already know what he has. It's garbage. Well, or it's we're not pretty, garbage. We're it's, broke. Yeah, we're broke. That's the problem. We're gonna get kicked out of Beetle's shop if mm -hmm. we go up there. Hey, bud. Hey, kid, what's up? You look like you need to get something off your chest. I think I know what it is. You got a favor to ask me, right? Yes. Robot. Huh? huh? It's about the old robot my grandpa used to tinker around with. You probably came here just to make fun of that crazy jug for believing in his grandpa's stupid stories, right? Well, get in line. I've heard it before. Wait, that's not why you're here? You say you want me to pick something from up, up from below the clouds with this robot? Do you know what that means? That means you believe in my grandpa's stories too, don't you? Yeah, sure. Well, what? I'm happy to hear that someone else believes me, but I don't think I can help you. See, my grandpa's old robot, what's it called again? Robot. Oh, hey, that's right. I remember. His name is Scrapper. He may not look like... be much to look at these days, but he was an amazing robot once. When you called him, he would go anywhere and haul anything. Sadly, as you can see now, he's just another busted old hunk of junk. But old Gramps did tell me this. You can get him working again with the extract from an ancient flower. It's like oil for this guy. But I've never heard of it, much less seen any such thing. Ancient flower? Take mine! What? You have one? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. I think I have more than one. Oh yeah, we picked him up all over the desert. Mm-hmm. So this is an ancient flower? I can feel some slicky oily stuff coming out of its stem. Great, with this we can fix Scrapper. Wait right here. I'll have him up and running in no time. Is that why these robots all died? They use up all the flowers? Maybe. Turn the land into a desert? <gasps> Buddy! Robot! He flies! Thank you, Bzzr. I've got a full tank of energy and I'm ready to carry anything, Bzzr. Huh? Who's this green clad individual of small stature? Whoa, it talked. Can you believe that? I guess it really did fix it. This kid gave me the materials I need to fix you. Go on, say thank you. Hmm, are you sure it was him, Bzzler? Well then, I extend my reluctant thanks to you in exchange in a gesture of obligatory gratitude. Conk. Hey, now watch it. That's no way to talk to someone who just saved your life. Anyway, this kid wants you to haul some stuff around and you're gonna help him. Mm, this individual may have restored my operations, but I am not inclined to offer assistance, sir. Serving children is very low in my task priorities, sir. Master Link. Materials from the windmill have yielded a signal that you may search for with your dowsing ability. Use it to locate the fallen propeller. Propeller! However, it will not be possible to carry the item in your pouch and return to the sky. Who are you? 
your name is Fee? Should I call you Mistress Fee? Are you looking for something, Mistress Fee? I, I understand, sir. At your request, I will carry anything regardless of weight or destination. Master, we now have the means to bring the propeller back to Skyloft. You may immediately begin your search for the windmill propeller. Master Shortpants, I offer assistance. I can now detect Mistress Fee's thoughts waves. Should you need me, ask Mistress Fee to call me. I will arrive with haste, Berserk. So how do you plan to recover all that stuff that fell beneath the clouds? You know, you could always ask the fortune teller over there. I know he's kind of goofy looking, but when it comes to finding things... Gondo, shh! He's, he's always right, right on the money! Oh! <laughs> Rude! Alright. So yeah, everyone, say hello to Scrapper. They'll be helping us out for... many a t quest. Uh, yes. Many, many a quest. Yeah. So, if we use our little dousing thing, we can see that... It is... Eh. 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 It's in the red area. Yeah. It's an Elden Volcano. So, off we And go. if you have a good memory, you might remember where we've actually seen it before already. Yeah, because we have seen it. And we're and like, we huh, pointed what's that? it out. <laughs> so now we get to go find it. Scrapper. I really like this. This feels like a. Um, it feels like a step up from these kinds of quests that we would do in Twilight Princess. Where Midna was our scrapper. Oh, I get it. Where we like go and pick up like a bridge and then take it back. Right. Okay. Uh, temple entrance, I think, is a good spot to go. Yes. Because in Twilight Princess, the things you needed to warp around were not obvious. And I would often forget about them. I saw some butterflies. Boy, yoing. Yes, or, or thank you. Believe it or not. Okay. <laughs> this is the windmill propeller you were searching for. It is now possible to retrieve this using the robot whose services we have enlisted. Would you like me to call the robot? Hi! I will send word to the robot using telepathic transmission, Master. Mistress Fee, I hope you weren't waiting long. So, you want me to carry this? Hey, Master Shortpants, you're in my way here. I said get out of the way. You know, it's big talk calling me Shortpants considering you're not wearing any pants. I'll be waiting for you up in the sky, so don't take too long. Bye. Totals. Master, I suggest that we also return to the sky and collect the propeller as soon as possible. That sounds excellent. You could do it with this! Yes. Let's use an amiibo to immediately fly to the sky. Ha <laughs> ha Ah, I know the save point's right up there, but... But why not use the amiibo? Amiibo! Just to be cool. We. Not that we would ever need to return to that spot either. And hey, look, Scrapper's following along behind us. Mm-hmm. Keep up.
Here's that windmill propeller. It's it. Right. Scrapper. <laughs> the disrespect. <laughs> High levels of disrespect. <laughs> if you need me, brr, brr, clunk, feel free to call. For Mistress P, I will travel to any destination. Kurds. Whoa, isn't that the beat up old robot from Gondo's place? Wait just a second. Is that? It is! It's the windmill propeller. That thing was supposed to have fallen down below the clouds. Are you saying that whole story handed down through Gondo's family was actually true? Hmm. Somehow I get the feeling that this is so, some all, this is all some elaborate prank. But I guess I'll try to fix this thing. This goes here, and I just crank that a few clicks. Phew. That ought to do it. If you find some way to spin the propeller, you can probably turn the windmill around. Hey! Uh, honey! Honey! Oh no, I think I might have promised my wife I'd fix our cupboard. I swear, a woman's always that woman's always looking for somebody. See you around, Link. Handyman's work is never done. Yup. All right. Well, that means yeah. Spin that windmill. It has to go all the way around. Yes, it does. Oh, she just disappeared. Huh? Uh, the one gal was walking around over there, but she got outside the draw distance, and she, so she just popped out of existence. <laughs> Boop. Oh, I see. Yep, she's back. <laughs> oh. Hello. Well, that's exciting. Indeed. We're changing the environment. And not just by spinning windmills. I mean, you did it by spinning windmills, but not, you know, like that's the only thing that changed. Okay, I get ya. Well, let's go on up. See what this new section has for us. I gotta wonder what the townspeople think. Link's just running around, they're like, hmm. That seems suspicious. Let's sound the goddess' song beneath the light's radiance. Unto her chosen shall fall a piercing ray of guidance. You know, I bet that means. Yup. Play a couple strums on that harp and it just, boom, lights right up. Heartmaster. <laughs> Our ray of guidance. Pierces the Thunderhead. Master, there is a high probability that this beam of light will lead us to the clues as to the whereabouts of the three flames. I recommend that you investigate what lies at the end of that beam of light. So yeah, looks like we have access to a new area here in the sky. 
Let's go check it out. Let's go. Flying way up. So yeah, if we would have came over to this area before, we would not be able to get past this like barrier of clouds. Mm -hmm. Now important to note, the closer you get to this, the more tornadoes there are that show up. So you gotta avoid them. Which... But if you go up and down, like, you have a pretty good chance of avoiding them. Regardless. In we go. Inside um, the Thunderhead. It's so rainy. Ah. Weird flying bug things. Now, I want to check the map because we can see that there is actually a chest that we opened up a long time ago. A goddess cube chest. Mm-hmm. Ah. Stay away. And I think it's on... The main island here? This main island with the beam of light. Ooh, it's very rainy in here. Also, look at this. There's a rainbow on a this one. A little rainbow. I love that. Ow. Get away. Get away. Well, it looks like there's just a bunch of hearts on it. It's cute. And I'm sure we'll explore some of these other platforms at some point. But for now... I want to get this chest. Yeah. I love doing that. <laughs> I like the idea of Link just like rolling off the bird and splatting onto the Gold ground. Gold rupee! There yeah. we go. That'll get our money back from most of the shield. Yeah. It's a All lot right. to spend your money on in this game. Okay. Yikes. You just really like getting that bird as close to the ground as possible. I do. I like face planting without hurting myself. What about your bird? Yeah, the bird's <laughs> fine. It's invincible. Master Link, I have memories of this island. It is known as the Isle of Songs. Signs indicate that it was left here for you by the goddess, Master. However, I am unable to determine a means of entering the structure ahead. I suggest you investigate the area. Hmm. Well, I see a hole. And a tower. And a signpost. Rotate the center pedestal to complete the bridge that allows you to step to the greater tower on the Isle of Songs. That wasn't as helpful as I had hoped it would be. So that's actually moving these bridge pieces. So we need way to get them here. lined up. But also, what's over this way? Is uh, there anything like out that direction? It's just weird that it's opened up. Uh, like no, it's just, I think it's just open there so you can jump off. Oh, yeah. Aha. Hmm. All right. And now that's turning all of them, but you're going to get yeah. things blocking the way. So you've got the one where it needs to be, but nothing to block it. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but now if you push it, you're going to get that one out, out of line. Uh, keep going, actually. Because you've got that one closest to you up. So that'll get them all aligned. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
And there we go. Perfect. That's exactly what you need. It takes a little bit of finagling, but I got there in the end. Boom! Beautiful. I like how the entrance to this place is just a little crawl hole. Yeah, you have to crawl in. It's very interesting. Okay. Well, hello. Master Link, I have important information. When you struck the crest with the skyward strike from your sword, a message from the goddess awakened deep within my memory. The goddess intended this message for you, Master. These are her words. He who seeks the sacred flames, listen well, for I guide you from my place at the edge of time. The sacred flames are three in number. To obtain them, you must also earn the relics known as the three sacred gifts. For each trial you overcome, you shall be blessed with one of the gifts. Make use of the power of these gifts, and you will find your way to the purifying sacred flames. Now I bestow upon you a melody. It will serve you as a key, opening the first trial that awaits you deep in the wilds of Faron Woods. Master. <laughs> that song is called Furore's Cur Courage. It's a rousing melody will guide you. It's rousing melody. You learn Furore's Courage. Master, you must overcome the trial set before you and obtain the three gifts to reach the sacred flames. I have committed Furore's courage to memory. Now you can use your dousing ability to search for the gate leading to the first trial you must face. I suggest you set out for Faron Woods as soon as you are ready. All right. Sounds good. There we go. I will not douse. We're going to Faron Woods. We'll figure it out. Almost went right back in. Crawling back into my shell. <laughs> Crawling out of my shell and I'll be doing just fine. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Well, off we go. To Faron Woods is what I'd say if I didn't want to check around a little bit more. Check around? What you yeah. thinking about? I'm thinking of one thing specifically. Okay. But we need to get out of this Thunderhead first. All right. You can, like, attack through them. You cannot. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can hit their butts. We have not unlocked that ability yet. Oh. 
<laughs> okay. I was trying to do it earlier and I was like, oh, this isn't working. You know what? Nah, let's go. We're gonna go to Farron Woods. Next time. Next time. Oh, Next time. wow. Yeah. <laughs> Next time we head to Farron Woods and we figure out what the heck this trial is. Yeah. See you then. Bye-bye.